Hello, welcome back to my channel. And I have a special journal to share with you today. This journal is part of a swap that I am doing with Cheryl. She's a subscriber of mine. Um, we've swapped before. And this time she participated in my swap where I was offering to make a journal in exchange for some crafting supplies. And um, you should have seen her Happy Mail unboxing in the last couple days. Hopefully I'm putting my videos up in the right order. Anyway, um, I added more pages than I had originally said I would. It was supposed to be a 60-page journal, but Cheryl, I made it an 80-page journal, and it was supposed to be just one of the fold-over journals, but I made a little spine, a one-inch spine with one fat signature. I know how you love to write, and you ask for botanical. So I tried to not overdo the um, embellishments. I tried to not have anything that you couldn't write over, um, and I, I love this fabric. I just think it's so gorgeous. So I covered it. I added some of these little flowers. These were a gift from Brandy. And um, thank you so much for that, Brandy. I'm finally starting to use them and stop hoarding them because I love everything you sent so much. Um, there's some lace in the spine just peeking out the top and bottom. And then this, I believe I got this from Graphics Fairy. It's like an old album cover. And I just inked the edges and put it as part of... Um, the cover and the stitching is kind of like these little leaves if you can see that at least i'm part of it okay so the closure i got this idea from shelby and she, when she sent me a journal for a swap before she just did one eyelet in the back and then you and i'm using the journal she sent me right now and i love how i don't lose the tie but it's on the back out of the way so I decided to try that for the first time, and I do like it, and I definitely think I'm going to be doing that more often. All right, so let's get right into it. So on the inside, I covered it with this uh, tan paper that kind of has stitching, and I used a book page from a book on the roses, and this is Old Garden Roses and Shrub Roses, and I made a big pocket tuck spot and a giant journaling card. So you can put a photo if you want here, Cheryl. There's journaling on the background. And I hope my lighting and everything's okay because I have a new filming area. It's not as easy to film, but it keeps my kitchen a lot cleaner. So we're trying to compromise here. All right. And so here I have one of these little family um, register tags. And I did an Etsy archaeology video on um, that. And then this is, I believe, also from Graphics Fairy. It's a 2018 calendar. So I stitched that on some scrapbook paper. Um, so you have that as a reference. And then beautiful double daisy. I've used um, Old Design Shop, Graphics Fairy, Victoria Design, Seneca Pong Crafts. Um, I've used a whole bunch of different kinds in here. So this I believe I found, A Year with the Wildflowers, and it's an old book cover, and I just printed it, and then I just uh, stitched on a couple pieces of coffee dyed paper so that you can have more journaling space um, there if you'd like, and then you can remove anything that you don't want um, clipped on here. This is a stamp I got from a Hobby Lobby haul. I filmed a video on that, but it's not up yet. So <laughs> you're going to see it. It was on sale, but I love how it adds a flourish in journaling lines. And then this is from the old design shop. I love this old end paper. And I haven't used it in a while, and I, I've used it in a lot of journals. But it had to go in here. And so then some wallpaper and a little collage there at the top. This is a journaling card from um, Cool Mom Book Boutique. And it's just one that she put together. And this is a very special card. This was my grandmother um, painting. She uh, painted this. Well, Bridge of Flowers, Watercolor by Judith Moore Knapp. My maiden name was Knapp. And um, so this is really special, uh, beautiful. Um, and I believe I've actually been to the Bridge of Flowers. I have a painting she did of me and my grandpa on the Bridge of Flowers. So that's special to add in there, and I know you'd appreciate it, Cheryl, so I put it in there. I love these ATC cards from Victoria Designs. Um, they're old ledgers, and they're amazing. And I just used another one of my new Hobby Lobby stamps, um, a wheat, to put on there. Also, this is from my other grandmother. Um, she gave me a whole bunch of her painting books and she's a painter and I'm an artist. And so they're gorgeous. <laughs> and so I'm sharing that with you too. And this just brings back warm, fuzzy feelings of my grandma. And so they're vintage art book. Here's a little tuck spot and a journaling card. Little collage here. 
And then this is from Nick the Booksmith from her planner kit, but I love that flower, so I had to add that. And then there's that journaling stamp again on the copy dyed paper. And then these are little, um, what are they called? Sticky notes. I hot glued the bottom one on so it wouldn't go anywhere, but you can pull the rest of them off and, you know, stick them throughout. This is a vintage garden book page, and I added a cute little polka dot tab. Then I made a little journaling card with a stamp here. You can journal on the back of that. I made some homemade wa washi. <laughs> it doesn't really stick. I had to use hot glue. It's just a little strip. You know when you buy those 12 by 12 sheets of paper in a pad and you rip it off and there's that little strip at the top? Yep, that's what that is. And I just um, did some machine stitching on that. So here, uh, I think this, this ledger was from Mel's stamp blog. And I did another one of my new Hobby Lobby stamps on that. And then this, I believe, is from Digital Collage Club. I've told you I used a lot. It's part of a library card, but I just cut the top off, so it was just a little journaling spot. I added some stamping, um, like, frames, so you could put a date or a title. So a little Planner Society washi, and then this is a floral, uh, like a... Birds and Blooms book, I think it was called. And then I added this um, ephemera here. It says, my friend. And since Cheryl's one of my crafty friends, I added that. This is Honeysuckle. Here's a little um, flower and paper ribbon. I tried to leave you lots of journaling space. This is from Old Design Shop. I love this page. I've used it in multiple journals. This is from Seneca Pond Crafts. It's a little label from one of her kits left over from the Eight Cousins journal I did. Some washi up there. A uh, stamped frame. I like that that doesn't add bulk, but it adds interest. And then you can date it or write a title like family vacation, menu, or whatever. Um, this is from, I believe it's Country at Heart 2008. And I used this in um, a journal. Yeah, I used this in a journal before. I just thought that was lovely to use again. This, I believe, is from Calico Collage. I want to say this is the Songbird um, one. So I added one of those. Here's a little journaling card I stitched around, made a little lace paper clip. This is Graphics Fairy, and then this is a baby wipe, a dried out baby wipe in the back, and it's all pretty and green because I used it to clean a green paint and green ink up, and it was so pretty and it adds a lot of texture, so I stitched it on there. And then we have um, Graphics Fairy, Nick the Booksmith, and this is giant sewn pocket for you to stick things in. And then notes, plans, goals for 2018. This is on like the booksmith. Graphics fairy. Here's a little journaling card I stapled on there. You can journal on the copy dyed. And then this is a page of my jelly printing. And I included it because it has some flowers on it. And I thought that was really pretty. And then the, you can see the brayer marks on the back. It's very easy to journal on, but it adds a lot of interest. So I added that as just a special handmade touch. And so I love all the type of papers that Cheryl comes up with in her journals. Um, just a piece of floral ribbon. This was also from Brandy. And then these little labels are in my shop. Um, so if anyone's interested in purchasing them. But I did a little uh, coffee dyed ribbon and then a little label. So again, you can label, you know, maybe put a photo here or something like that. And there's another stamped frame down there. Here's like a journaling spot. I sewed on some fabric and lace. Blue rose. Glued this on and stamped. Here's a little, um, what's that called? Side pocket. <laughs> and then this is notes. That's from the little roses book that I've used in a couple places throughout this journal. And if you did my vintage music and roses kit, these are included as well. And there's still some of those in my shop. There's a stamp that says live. And then here's a wallpaper pocket with some little um, butterfly and flower postcards from Digital Collage Club. And then a little piece of ephemera. It's like a printed first cabin baggage from like a steamer. And I hot glued on some more sticky notes here. And then all these, of course, you can pull off and put um, wherever you want. Here's a vintage trivia card, and I did some spraying and put a little flower on it. This is um, from Junk That Treasures, and I just stamped a frame on it. A little piece of purple lace up there. Nick the Booksmith. Some Graphic 45 stamping down the side there. Um, more of that vintage artist painting book. And then this was from, I don't remember what book this was from, 
but I love how you can journal on the back. It says the Victorians were great inventors and loved gadgets as this elaborate embroidery frame shows. And then um, on the other side here, there's some beautiful yellow flowers and I made a bookmark out of that. And then another page from that rose book and a little tag I made some more of that handmade washi. And then here I stamped an image of some little girls sitting in like an outdoor um, swing or arbor and lots of flowers. And I know Cheryl has grandkids. And so I thought that was sweet. Um, a little graphic 45 stamp up there. And then here's a little envelope that I made. It's empty for you to stick whatever you would like in it. But I love this paper. And then I put two of the labels um, that I have in my shop on there. And I stamped a little stamp up there for the stamp. And then you can stick, you know, receipts or ticket stubs or something, a little piece of ephemera of something you want to remember. And then in the back, my new stamp, Uniquely Handmade Limited Edition. And then I signed it. So I really do like how this turned out. It's very me, but it's very Cheryl at the same time. So that's what I love when I can, when I know what somebody likes. Now, of course, I'm saying all this and she's going to be like, no, that's not really my style. <laughs> no. I know Sarah loves my journals. So I hope that you enjoyed looking at this. Um, thank you, Cheryl, for doing this swap. Thank you for the goodies you sent me. I hope we can do another swap soon. I would love to um, continue this tradition that we are starting, and I'd love another one of your journals. So maybe contact me and we'll work something out in the next few months. So have a lovely day.